Hello all, welcome back to the channel. I apologize to everyone. It has been probably four or five months since my last upload, um, but I've not been too well. There's been a couple of things I've had to do. Uh, been away, been back, been away, been back. But hey, we're back. We're gonna get uh, a video out and we're gonna be doing just a basic wash on a BMW 220D convertible. Um, I'm not gonna get into anything specific this is just a quick basic wash uh, we're going to be using auto glim today we're going to be using some magma on the wheels uh, we're going to be using some polar blast snow foam for the the bodywork and yes you can spray it onto the soft top we're going to be using some pure shampoo from auto glim uh, just so it doesn't take any of the protection off that's already on the car and I think we will hit it finally with some Infinity Wax Express Sealant. Uh, what we're going to do with that is we're going to put it into a normal 960ml bottle. We will One of these bottles. We will screw on the cap for the snow foam lance. We will turn it down to minimum. Um, and we will spray that on the vehicle. We will try and keep it away from the hood as much as we can because that already has its own coating on it from BMW. Um, and that will... That will completely seal the paintwork on that. We'll be using a few brushes, uh, standard detail brush. I use this on the wheels. It's it's a bit wrecked to be perfectly fair. Uh, this one we can use around the, uh, the, the wing mirrors. You can use it on different parts, badges, that type of stuff, nice and soft, as well as this, um, which is a paint brush, not a detail brush, a paint brush, but it's really, really, really soft. I don't know if you can pick that up. That is a really, really, really soft brush. I got given that off a paint and decorator that I was doing a job for, actually. So we're not going to be going into this interior, so we won't be using any of these brushes, but we will be using the barrel brush, the tire brush, and this is a brush that I use to do soft tops because it's, it's from Halfords. Uh, it's not majorly expensive, um, but it is very, very, very soft, but coarse enough um, for the soft top on the BMW. So the BMW is a BMW 220D in Estoril Blue with a fabric soft top. Um, probably does need a, um, a one, maybe two stage paint correction. We're not 100% sure yet. We've only had that a wee while. I've not had a chance to see it in the proper light. Um, it does have blue cap, black wheels, blue calipers. Um, it's a nice looking motor. Um, but at the moment, very, very, very dusty. Uh, you know, you know yourselves. We've had this um, all this stuff over from the Sahara Desert. Um, it's laying on the cars as soon as you're washing them. To be perfectly honest, the weather's not that great today, so I'm not sure if we're going to get to dry it. If we do, we have a auto finish drying towel uh, down here. We have an auto smart drying towel, and up here is a lovely towel that I got from Infinity Wax. Um, it's a great drying towel, that one. So we might get drying it, we don't know. We'll see what the weather's like, because it's um, it's going to be raining quite heavily. But then, using express sealant, you really should be drying it after you've used express sealant, because it can dry and leave big white water spots, um, which I found to my detriment <laughs> on the, the 520 that I have in black. It was an absolutely torrential rain one day. Washed it. I was in the middle of washing the car anyway, so I finished it, put some express, express sealant on it, washed it off, didn't dry it because it was raining, and came out the next day and there's big white spots all over it. But yeah, so I think we will go out there, grab the Nelfisk, grab some snow foam, get the bucket filled with some hot water, uh, grit guard in there, and let's go out and give this car a bit of a clean. Back to making some videos.
here's what happens. When somebody washes a microfiber towel with conditioner, Guys, that's the rain came on, so I'm not going to bother drying the rest of this car because it's just going to get absolutely ringing again. Uh, plus the fact, it looks like somebody has been washing my drying towels with conditioner. Ruined. Anyway, let's get back in it and just have a quick walk through because I'm sure you're all shouting at the screen uh, and ready for killing me after what I did there. But I'm going to take you in and I'm going to explain why. So guys, how many of you were sitting at your computer screen or watching it on your telly in the house or whatever it is you're watching it on your phone on your tablet and you're screaming, that's no right, that's no right, he's going to do this, he's going to do that. Would you know what? See, in my experience, and I'm just talking my experience here, what I did isn't the norm or isn't the right way to do it. But you know what? It works. The car's clean. Yes, I didn't use the two bucket method, but the car was rinsed down, then it was snow foamed, and then it was rinsed again. So anything that's on the car is going to be very, very, very minimal. Um, you probably noticed I had my grit guard in the bucket anyway, so when I put the wash mat in, it got rubbed a bit, washed the car, and have you noticed, I don't know if anybody noticed this, but I did the top half of the car, uh, all the way around, then I did the middle bit of the car all the way around and then I did the side skirts of the car all the way around and then I went and done the wheels what's the problem there's no scratching there's no much it's on a black car yes it probably does pay to do the two bucket method and but has anybody got all that time every single weekend I've got a life to live <laughs> I don't want to I'm not going to spend a whole day just doing my car on a Saturday I could drop dead tomorrow and I've wasted the whole day before so get my car clean to the best of my ability for that particular moment in time. What's the problem? Car's clean. That's what we want, is it not? I'm not looking for concourse. I don't, what is the point in this country for anyone to spend six, seven, three days? I was talking six or seven hours, by the way. Three days polishing perfecting the paintwork on a car to drive it out of the garage, whatever it is it's been done. And by the time you get home, it's covered in dust. It's covered in dirt. Yes, I can understand if it's going to go in the back of the trailer or if it's going to go and get PPF'd or you're getting a wrap or something, the paint has to be perfectly clean. But the second you drive it out of somewhere that's just spent three days detailing a car, the second you drive out, somebody could drive past a puddle and that's it, done. Is it worth the money? If you want your car to look that good, yes, it is worth the money. Is it going to make any more value to your car keeping it clean and shiny? Not nowadays. In the old days, yes. In the old days, you used to take your car to the garage. They would look around your car. They would say, oh, you've kept it really well or um, very, very shiny, looks really nice. We'll give you X amount for it. Maybe if you're selling it privately, they still do that. But if you're trading your car in, Read your number in a computer. That's what we're giving you. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what time you've spent cleaning that car, perfecting that paintwork, keeping it in tip-top condition. It makes no difference nowadays. No difference. They just put your number, your registration plate, into a computer, and it tells them how much you're going to get. Believe me, I have bought four or five cars in the past couple of years and every single time, it doesn't matter how clean that car is, how immaculate that paintwork is, as long as you get your car serviced regularly and it runs and there's no major smashes in the side of it, every single person is going to get the same amount for their car because it comes out of a computer and that's the end of it. You can argue with me all you want, guys. I really don't care. That is what happens. 
you could spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds keeping your car looking pristine. Unless you're selling it privately, then yes, I dare say somebody might give you more money for it um, if it looks if it looks pristine. But still, they're not going to go majorly over the market value of it anyway. Um, it goes into a computer, you get your price, that's what you've got to play with. End of story. Anyway, as you can tell, I get a little bit heated when it comes to things like that. But yes, we all like clean cars, that's why you're on the channel watching the videos. Um, and that's why I try and take you through my kind of process of doing it. Sometimes I do it the way you're meant to do it. And sometimes I do it for quickness. I just want the car to look relatively clean when I'm driving down the road. Um, today, I've got a bit of time, so I thought I'd do, th do this video. But I don't know if people understand how long it takes to make these videos. You've got different camera angles you need to do. You've got what some people call B-roll. Uh, you've got to set everything up. and do it. It's not just a case of getting everything out, washing the car, putting it all away again. The car could be washed in 10 minutes, easily. But this has now taken me an hour and a half just to do that wash. Because I've been doing, I've been doing all this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you very much for coming back. Um, I know this has been a. <laughs> it's probably one of those videos that you think I'm. I'm going. I'm going to unsubscribe. I'm going to do this. Please don't. Um, I just try. I'm just. I'm just trying to put across the reality. Of cleaning your car. Some people have time. Some people don't have time. Yes, we take pride in our cars. It's going to make absolutely no difference in the end result. So we keep a nice, clean, tidy car. Nobody's looking for concourse quality unless you're going to concourse. But in that case, you're going to get it done in a garage in the back of a sealed trailer to wherever it's gone. End of story. You take it to one of these detail places, which are really good, by the way. Their craft is absolutely amazing. They're really good at what they do. But the second you drive it away, it's going to be dusty. You might drive out. Somebody might go through a puddle or a bit of mud or something. And then that's it. And then do you really want to spend a whole day in your driveway on a Saturday? Polishing, correcting, polishing, waxing. A whole day wasted when you could be doing other things with the family, with your loved ones, whatever. Anyway, it is what it is. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It has been a pleasure as always. Please, if you don't mind, give the video a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down whatever you want uh, i'm just trying to put some videos out there so thumbs up if you can subscribe would be fantastic share it with anyone online um so they can they can barrage me on social media as well if they want because that's what i'm going to get in it it's it's going to happen but hey ho i'm thick skinned the last the last year or so um has been absolutely mental so i can take absolutely anything that's thrown at me i couldn't care less so thank you very much guys Appreciate it. Uh, but it's time to go.